came in the fashion district in LA because I came out to get some fabric. Ended up finding some cheap dresses, which I probably shouldn't buy, but I got them anyway. So I was hungry, and I don't usually buy junk food, but these caught my eye. They're like Cheetos, but banana flavored. And they're really good. Like, I've pretty much eaten the whole bag, but they're really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Can I get my car back? Yeah, so I don't usually eat junk food, but I'm a sucker for like Asian junk food. And I got this thing, it's crunch crunch pear. I don't know, but it was really good. So we've made a mess of our living room again because we mounted the big TV. But Mike can't get the cables in. No, got it, ha, that's the hardest one. I got it. Good job, baby. Mike got a haircut today. Looks yeah. good. Show us your pretty hair. Oh, you haven't styled it. But got all lined up, looking sharp. Got a fade for the first time. It's a one fade, not a true fade. What does that mean? It means the shortest distance is a one. It never goes bald. Oh, okay. Well, I like that better. It's still a fade. Yeah, but it's called a one fade, apparently. Oh, fancy. Apparently. I didn't know either. Whatever. Looking good. I'm excited. I've just been like on edge about earthquake stuff lately. So I even had like a mini emergency kit in my rental car with some peanut butter, canned pears. I always had water with me and um, a tin of kippers because you're definitely not going to eat the kippers until you're like really hungry. Yay! Why is the sub pointed that way? It's oh, done. The not plugged in. Oh, that's right. It's pretty good. What do you think? It's pretty good. The only thing is with the right speaker being over there, being blocked by that, over here you can't quite hear the right speaker. So but I mean, if you're going to be picky about it, the ideal viewing spot is the center of the couch yeah, anyway, right? Exactly. Like, I usually watch from that chair because I don't care as much. Which is crazy. Just a random drone lying in the street. <laughs> That's interesting. I wonder where it came from. Just chilling. What is this? It's a lots of all timer, Mike. Well, this is you know what? I actually really like these. Look. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> these are hilarious. That's kind of disturbing though. Let's go. So I got all these boards because I'm going to build a shelf for the bathroom. I've been looking for a shelf to go in there for Couple months. A couple months and I'm not gonna find it so I'm just gonna make one. So we bought this 10 foot knotted pine wood and we cut, well, we had them cut two three foot pieces and then a bunch of uh, eight, inch. eight inch pieces for the shelves. Basically those are gonna be the sides, it's not gonna have a back and it's gonna have three shelves and a top. That's about it and I got some polyurethane and stain in one. So I've sanded the edges of the boards. The length of the board is pre-sanded and I'm just gonna screw them together and then put a few coats of this on. Woohoo! I just finished up my third day on set with Shooter and I'm really excited because it seems like pretty much any episode that has this one specific set in it I'm gonna be in so yeah that's exciting because it's like three months of steady work and I'm really really excited and everyone I work with is really nice and it's been a pretty good experience so far it was a little bumpy there getting started because it was a little weird but I had a lot of fun today so I'm on my way home just sitting in traffic 5 a.m. and I just got to set for shooter. That's all I can tell you. It's kind of lame. So I'm back in my car 
I'm technically on set and we're going to another location and they're using me in my car as a driver so I don't know where we're going not that I could tell you if I knew <sighs> all right I'm in my car sitting in traffic <laughs> I just got wrapped. It is 6.45 p.m. and I'm going home. I'm tired. Oh, look how shiny I am. Yeah, I'm real tired. And hopefully I can find parking when I get home. And I totally forgot to show you the process of me making this shelf, but it is finished and it fits perfectly in this teeny tiny space between the vanity and the bathtub. And the tub kind of curves in right there. I keep dropping stuff in between though. So there's room to put the shower curtain back there. And it's just for all the other stuff that like didn't fit. I didn't really have room. <laughs> this is where I keep all of my samples and stuff because I'm not gonna throw away samples, but if they're in a drawer, you don't use them. And that's a mess right now, but um, usually this stuff isn't here. And usually this is on top of the toilet, but there's a fan there right now. So I just wanted to have like my perfumes and stuff there. And Mike kept knocking stuff over by putting his pajamas on top of it when you get in the shower. So I moved this over here and I've just got um, candles and bath salts and bath bombs and then my jars that have cotton goods and then that's the pitcher and the stuff that I use to wash my hair basically. <laughs> so that is, here I'll turn the light, I can sort of see better. That is the finished shelf. And I really like how it came out and um, I did three layers of polyurethane so it's kind of um, shiny but that's going to really protect it from any moisture that comes from the shower. So that is the finished nook shelf but really I wasn't going to be able to buy anything that fit in there. So I'm really glad that I just caved and made it and it's exactly what I wanted and I like it and I can definitely use it in future homes, that's for sure. So, I like how it turned out. Good job, me. No, don't film me. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to start well, from scratch? Okay. Sure. So I'm gonna try to get, I'm in my box, so let's put pants on. Oh, it's scratching me. <laughs> no, help me, honey. I'm late for a thing. <laughs> Are you panicking? A little bit. Slow <laughs> down. Pull this side up. Weirdo. Oh, it's putting pressure. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I'm just gonna snap these off. No, don't snap them off. Alright, so there's an episode of 30 Rock where there's a contest and they have to try to squeeze through a hanger. And uh, it's a little different to these hooks, but I'm gonna see if I can do it. <laughs> I think I need to somehow get <laughs> Wow. Damn you broad shoulders. <laughs> Kenneth Parcell's way skinnier than I am. <laughs> Are you stuck? You gonna break my hanger? I, I am stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think this through, Michael. <sighs> I am sitting at a traffic light on Wilshire Boulevard. I just went to the health fair at SAG AFTRA. And I'm gonna be joining the union soon, which is exciting and not because it's so expensive. But now that I'm in this market, it's time and I got a lot of free stuff. So I just ate the most disgusting protein bar of my life and now I'm choking down this chocolate flavored coconut water. But you know, it was free. So it's better than buying lunch, right? All right, so I just finished my meeting with an agency and I did a cold read. Well, first we kind of like sat down, did an interview type thing and then I did a cold read. But when I was waiting for my appointment, I was sitting in the waiting room and like I looked down and I realized I had like this red polka dot because that's what they give you when you sign in at the health fair. So I had like this red sticker on my shoulder. I'm like, whoops, I should take that off. And then I went and I brushed my hair behind my ear and 
<laughs> something made a noise and I'm like, what is that? And I realized I had these little things from the health fair where I had gone to like an acupuncture booth and they had put these things on my ears that are like a teeny tiny little band-aid, like that big. And it has this thing, like a little a pebble stuck inside of it and it pushes on the pressure point on your ear. <laughs> and I, I didn't realize they left them on me. So I was walking around these little things like right inside my ears. <laughs> oh well. I'm glad I realized I had them on there before I went into my meeting. So uh, yeah, I took those off. And it took about half an hour of waiting and then I went in for my little thing and I don't know. It was like, it was so-so. I feel that I always feel like I could have done better. But then again, like most of the auditions I have where I feel that they went terribly, I end up booking them. And this one I felt like so-so. And like right before I went in, like someone in the waiting room had this perfume on and it just started like making my throat itch. And then when I went in, I was all mucusy and my throat was a little bit, you know, closing up and my voice was raspy and so I didn't really sound like myself and I don't know a bunch of things just went wrong but whatever I don't really I don't really beat myself up about auditions or meetings afterwards because I did the best that I could and I mean if I didn't try my hardest then I would probably be like annoyed with myself but I did the best that I could you know and if they want to represent me they'll represent me or you know if I'm auditioning for something if they want to book me they'll book me and there's nothing I can do about it after that point so I just go to my auditions I get it done and then I forget about it and if they call me great it's like a nice little surprise but I don't really count on anything I just kind of send it off into the universe and let it go and it keeps me a lot happier because if you start like dwelling on every single time you don't get called back for something you're gonna lose your mind there's a lot of rejection in this business and by me just going in and doing my auditions and then forgetting about them after I'm not really setting myself up for failure because I just don't expect anything to come from it you know so then it's easier anyway so I'm going home now and it's like three o'clock but I didn't really eat lunch I had this protein bar thing and that chocolate flavored coconut water and I'm kind of starving now so probably have some lunch when I get home. Mike fried some fish cuz it's taco night! I'm so excited! Yeah it's kind of like our go-to when we're both home we make tacos. It's somewhat healthy except for the fried foods and the cheese but you know we've got all this happening and mojitos. You're bullying me into I'm playing D and D. I to get you to do something that I enjoy with me. But you're talking over this. I was talking before this came on.